Saturday is filmed, we will go out, this is the last lecture, evening lecture, and it is a special occasion, you don't know, but it is the first time that we introduce architecture to our curriculum. We have already experienced how broad we understand media and communication, from music to philosophy, but still, it is still another step to believe that architecture is also part of the software of our society we like to address in media and communication. <coughs> Understands how we live, and not only that, also set it into work. Heidegger's original of the work of art, truth set into work, that is what architecture can be in its best. But before that, thinking is necessary. So we are not inviting just any, art, uh, any architect, even a famous one, so a thinking architect. I don't know much about this, but fortunately we have another faculty member who knows more and will now introduce our evening uh, professor. <coughs> Uh, good evening. So it's it's a uh, it's a pleasure to introduce a thinking architect. What we would say uh, that is Greg Lynn, who just arrived today from LA and is here, very present. Uh, Greg Lynn, uh, as somebody recently said, um, uh, Joseph Rosa, uh, Tension Hudson book about the new gener next generation architects, the radical architects, uh, is at the forefront of the digital design revolution. Uh, Greg Lynn has been working for 15 years in, uh, in architecture and more, but, and not only vision, with lots of vision, but building as well. Teaching at <coughs> uh, UTLA, teaching at Yale, uh, teaching now as well the, uh, before ETH in Zurich at the uh, uh, Hochschule für Angewandte Wissenschaft Kunst, not Wissenschaft Kunst. in, uh, in yeah. Vienna, where he is the chair of, of Hans Hollein. Uh, and he has been probably is the architect with Peter Eisenman and completely different to, different, uh, to Peter Eisenman with integrated uh, uh, philosophy uh, into his architecture. Mainly, it's, as we all know, it's the Baroque philosophy, mainly it's Leibniz uh, philosophy and interpretation by Deleuze um, uh, in the 88th uh, Le Code. And this has marked uh, theoretically and architecturally, pragmatically, a lot of uh, uh, architecture. And he has now influenced many other younger architects as well with this new typology uh, of, of uh, folding architecture. Uh, so you are all invited to read more about this. Many publications uh, by uh, Greg Lynn, forthcoming now the next days or weeks in the uh, project of the Imperological uh, Houses. Absolutely fascinating project. I'm not going to say more because he will be talking and we'll, we have the occasion to discuss <coughs> afterwards. But let me say so much, Wolfgang, I'm very happy that this is the first time, and I'm sure now it will not be the last that uh, uh, there was the possibility to invite Greg Lane to integrate architecture to the project. Thank you for coming. So what I thought I would do is um, try to very literally pull some concepts about geometric organization, about composition that are fairly near. They're all concepts which I've arrived at through my work, but they're, as Hubert just said, deeply inspired by Deleuze's thinking on liveness. And whenever I'm asked by someone who doesn't know architecture and also doesn't know philosophy about what's the change in architecture that's significant, I always say it's the introduction of calculus into thinking about buildings. And it really is, everything I'm going to talk about tonight is that simple. It's about the mathematical, the cosmological, and the philosophical impact of calculus, which is a mathematical system, but it's a mathematical system that came out of a philosophy, and it's hooked into all kinds of geometric principles. 
Um, but what I'll do is I'll run through maybe eight or ten different principles of calculus as it applies to architecture. Now, the relationship of this work to thinking about media and especially virtuality, I would just simply say that architects 2,000 years ago were the first virtual field. Maybe music, maybe architecture, but whenever people ask, you know, have you ever thought about